We're going to continue to talk about commas because commas are also used to separate items in a series. We also use a comma when we um, are writing a date to separate the day and the year, and we use it when we're writing the name of a city and state to um, name the separate city and state. All right. So if we look at on March 27, 2011, the zoo in Memphis, Tennessee got two pandas. If I ask the thinking questions, how are commas used to separate items in the series? Okay, I use a comma to separate each item in the series. Um, I don't have a series in this example, but I do need to use um, the second part of the thinking question, how are commas used in dates and place names? We have a comma here used in a date, and we have a comma because we have a city and a state. Um, that we need to separate. Okay, so we need to use that comma between those two areas. Let's look at a few more examples. We bought carrots, sandwiches, and fruit for our picnic lunch. Here, we need to add commas where they're needed, and we have a series. We bought carrots, comma, sandwiches, comma, and fruit for our picnic lunch. My friend David, his brother Sean, and their neighbor Emily came with us. Okay, again, we have a series. My friend David, comma, his brother Sean, comma, and their neighbor Emily came with us. We couldn't decide whether to visit the lion den, the snake house, or the monkey house first. We've got lots of series here. We couldn't decide whether to visit the lion den, comma, the snake house, comma, or the monkey house first. You can pause the video and walk through a few more of these examples if you feel like you need more practice. I'm also going to show you a reader's notebook page in just a second. But first I want to connect this um, th the things we've learned about commas to writing this week. So good writers use commas correctly to make their writing clear and understandable for their readers. An important part of revising is to make sure that you are using commas where they are needed and that you use them correctly so that the reader will understand the ideas in your writing. So we're going to practice that also um, on a reader's notebook page. So we're going to turn um, right now into your reader's notebook, page 321. So 321, you're going to practice using commas to separate items in a series and dates and place names. So you're going to add commas where they're needed and write the sentence correctly on the line for 1 through 4. So my report, my report on the Marine Sanctuary is due on December 12, 2014. Where would you put your commas in that sentence? We have a date, it looks like. So I just need to use the comma between the date and the year. So that's how I would write it correctly. If you can just add the comma in the sentence, you probably don't need to rewrite each sentence if you would rather not do that. On page 323 is where we're going to practice um, proofreading and work on our sentence fluency using commas and using them correctly because it makes your writing clear and easy to understand. So they show you um, the proof marks that you need to use okay, and the incorrect way to, um, to revise and proofread. So you are going to find 16 missing commas and add them to each part in this script, okay? So Mark says, yes, I agree. Did you know, Dad, that people are the greatest threat to the hippo population? I see several missing ones right there. I see yes, comma, that is our, um, oh goodness, what was it called again? That is our person or our um, introductory word actually thank you I'm totally feeling like it's a Friday um, that is our introductory word yes I agree did you know dad 
Okay, we have dad is being addressed, so we need to put a comma before and after because he's the one that's being addressed. People are the greatest threat to the hippo population. So we found three just in the very first part of our script. You find the other 13 that are missing in the rest of the script. If you're unsure or you can't find them all, please don't hesitate to ask your learning adult.